Welcome to the Life Makeovers Podcast. My name is Cindy D. Whitmer, and I am the Midlife Makeover Coach, helping you turn your midlife into your best life one step at a time. Through powerful conversations, my own midlife roller coaster story, and over three decades of helping people transform their lives through counseling and coaching, I am on a mission to help you create your own definition of success and happiness. Thank you for being here. Hey, everybody. It's Cindy here. Happy Friday. Thank you for being with me. I hope you listened to the podcast on Wednesday with Laura Dankoff. What a great interview. Laura is a nurse practitioner into functional medicine and talked about our path to health and healing Uh, She talked a lot about classic midlife health issues, such as hormone imbalances, uh, sleep issues, fatigue, gut issues, uh, uncomfortable sex, all kinds of things. So if you haven't listened to that yet, I would really recommend you go back and listen to it. And she has some, some free resources she shares and then other options of really getting underneath what symptoms you are experiencing, if any, right now in your life health-wise. So that's what I want to talk to you about today, because one of the things that she really emphasized is the importance of being our own advocates regarding our health. You know, it's, it's so important because uh, nobody probably cares about you more than you, really, But a lot of times women, for some, for whatever reason, those of you who are women listening, we don't advocate for ourselves as much. We might go to bat for everybody else on the planet, but, (laughs) you know, uh, with great uh, passion and effort, but sometimes we're not so great about doing that for ourselves. And so I want to, as my final thought today for the week, I really want to encourage you to be a strong advocate for yourself. And this is in everything, of course. I mean, in your relationships, at the job, regarding your health, everywhere. But let's talk about it in terms of the things that we've discussed this week with aging and health. So make sure if you have something you're experiencing, you have a symptom or symptoms that you are experiencing, maybe it's a pain in your body, maybe it's you're not sleeping well, maybe it's, you know, your mood swings are wide and uh, whatever, or your, your gut is not getting along with you, whatever it is, please go to your doctor or go to whoever you trust in some kind of medical um, or health field and keep looking for answers until you get some answers. And really distinguish the difference between just getting your symptoms relieved and identifying the underlying cause, okay? Because what we want is to find the underlying cause of the symptoms. We don't wanna just shut up the symptoms. I mean, it's nice to get rid of symptoms that are uncomfortable, but we wanna make sure we understand what's going on underneath. And so please keep asking intelligent questions. I mean, any question is a valid question. And if a doctor or a nurse or a chiropractor, acupuncturist, any kind of practitioner out there, nutritionist, whoever you're talking to, uh, acts, acts put off by any question at all that you ask, move on, move on because you must, you must be treated with high regard and respect. This is your body, it's your life. And uh, these people, all of these people uh, are out there to assist us in understanding what's going on with ourselves all the way through from on the cellular level um, to you know, all, all levels of our body functioning and our health, our mind functioning. So please ask questions and look for answers if you find yourself uncomfortable or having unsatisfying dialogue with someone just move on to the next person find another person there's lots of choices out there and uh, you deserve to get to the bottom of whatever you're experiencing health wise 
Another thing that she mentioned around all of this is that we're, what we're often told is, oh yeah, you know, that's, yeah, that's what happens when you're in midlife and you're going through perimenopause or menopause or postmenopause, for example. Yeah, it's common to have sleeplessness. It's common to have hot flashes. Oh, yep, that's common. That's just part of it. Well, it is part of it, but it doesn't mean you have to just keep suffering through it. There are ways to regulate yourself that are healthy, natural, and so forth. So please, again, keep digging, keep asking so you don't have to suffer. I mean, if we just tolerated all the perimenopause, menopause, and postmenopause symptoms that are just natural and normal, we can be having symptoms for 15 or 20 years. Is that really what's required of us? I mean, come on, you know, so let's not do that. Let's ask the questions. And then the other thing that I'd like to say is I'd like you to advocate for your own happiness as well, not just your physical health or your mental health, but your overall life satisfaction and happiness. Whatever you're doing, if you are not happy, please do something different. And please, please, please do not expect other people to bring you your happiness. I know I've done that long ago. I did that. I was waiting for someone else to make me happy, quote unquote, make me happy or waiting for this other someone over here to change so I could be happy. And that is a recipe for unhappiness, guaranteed, guaranteed. So instead, ask yourself, what really brings me joy? What really makes me happy? What gets my heart pumping with excitement? And then let yourself do those things or have those things or be those things. Because one of the greatest things you can do for your physical health is to be happy every day. So go out there and advocate for yourselves. Take good care of yourself. Let's get your health in order. Let's get your joy on, on target. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for listening to the Life Makeovers podcast. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, find out more about my coaching programs, or download my free ebook, The Midlife Makeover Method, The Secret to Loving Yourself Fully and Living on Your Terms, then head over to my website at www.cindydwhitmer.com. Have a wonderful day.